my name is Marcos Rossi. I am a full professor of pathology of the University of São Paulo, Faculty of Medicine of Rio Preto in Brazil. And uh, I am I was invited for this meeting, and it was a great pleasure for me to present a part of the material I have been studying in my lab in Brazil. And uh, we present the, our studies concerning a very important drug used to treat cancer that causes a collateral effect not related to the uh, anti-cancer action uh, causing a, a cardiomyopathy in up to 30-35% of the patients. So we look if, looked for the intrinsic mechanism of the, uh, the, the, the pathogenesis of this cardiomyopathy. Um, we demonstrated there is a reduction of dystrophin. Dystrophin is a protein very important to the contraction, the stability, and the integrity of the uh, cardiac muscle cell. Uh, the reduction causes uh, loss of myofilamentous dysfunction, contractual dysfunction, and so we demonstrated there is a reduction and it also could demonstrate that this is caused by proteolysis, caused by a calcium-dependent uh, protein, the name the calpain, and the calpain, we could block the action of calpain because we could block the, the effect, the release of calcium from the sarcopathic reticulum using uh, dantrolin. Dantrolin is a drug that blocks the receptors of the sarcoplasmic reticulum uh, blocking the release of calcium and so blocking the uh, enhancement of action of the calpine. Uh, with this, we could recover the structure of the heart uh, and the function of the heart. Uh, in fact, this is a novel uh, mechanism, uh, among the others that he have been proposed. And uh, I think it's a very interesting point because it, for the first time we are presenting an structural mechanism or uh, intrinsic mechanism of the genesis of the doxorubicin-inducing cardiomyopathy.